Barkley totaled 224 total yards of offense against Nebraska. AP photo Chris Knight player of the game what may go down as sock when Barkley's final game at Beaver Stadium was also one of his best. Although he was removed from the game late in the third quarter thanks to a large lead, Barkley accumulated 158 yards on the ground and 66 through the air. After being limited by opposing defenses for the better part of the last six weeks, Barkley's effort marked his best game since his offensive explosion against Iowa in Week 4. Play of the game for the first time in weeks, Barkley found himself in open space. He didn't waste it. On Penn State's first drive of the game, Barkley took a handoff through a gaping hole on the left side and broke a tackle as he turned the corner. It was a foot race from there, and Barkley won it handedly, scampering 65 yards down the sideline for the score. Best pass on third dead long early in the second quarter, Trace McSorley felt the pass rush on his right side and quickly fired a bullet over the middle to hit Saeed Blacknall between the numbers and extend Penn State's drive deeper into Nebraska territory. McSorley finished the drive himself with a rushing two-count a few plays later to give Penn State a 2,110 lead. Worst pass McSorley once again had a solid game taking care of the football and didn't miss many opportunities. But with Penn State driving into Nebraska territory, McSorley overthrew a wide-open Deshaun Hamilton, who would have had enough yardage on the play for a first down. The Nittany Lions were able to make up for the mistake, however, because McSorley found DeAndre Tompkins in the end zone for a two-count later in the drive. Best run with his offense backed up at its own 15-yard line, Barkley broke through the line of scrimmage with a burst of speed and was through the second level before anyone on the Nebraska defense could react. The only Cornhusker between Barkley and an 85-yard two-count was able to trip the star backup, as Barkley settled for a 30-yard gain best catch Juwan Johnson put together another solid effort on Saturday, highlighted by a circus catch along the left sideline. Johnson snagged McSorley's high pass with one hand before gathering control and falling out of bounds for a gain of 16 yards. Worst drop with an opportunity to secure a first down as the third quarter ran down, Hamilton let a ball slip through his hands as he coasted toward the left sideline. The Nittany Lions were then forced to punt later in the drive. Best sack for all their dominance in the first half, the Nittany Lions had yet to record a sock until Nebraska's final drive of the second quarter. Penn State's defensive line overran the Cornhuskers in the trenches, as Jason Cabinda and Sheriff Miller brought down quarterback Tanner Lee for a loss. Best return returning kicks for Penn State on Saturday and Barkley's place was Brandon Polk, who was held in check for most of the game. In the fourth quarter, however, Polk put together a 34-yard return to set the Nittany Lions up with excellent field position. Best hit with a head of steam through the line of scrimmage, senior Tyrell Chavis used the force of his 308-pound frame to emphatically bring down Lee in the fourth quarter of his final game at Beaver Stadium. Best effort when Johnson caught a slant over the middle of the field late in the first quarter, it appeared as though the physical wideout would be tackled with a modest 10-yard gain. But Johnson used his size to create an explosive play, breaking a pair of tackles while crossing the field to earn a gain of 43 yards and set up a Penn State two-count. Worst punt after Penn State went three and out on a drive that began deep in its own territory, the Nittany Lions needed Blake Gillikin to flip their field position. Instead, Gilligan skanked his punt, which went for only 18 yards. The Cornhuskers used their excellent field position to take their first lead of the game with a one-yard rushing two-count. Best kick Gilligan's best punt of the game was his last, a booming, end-over-end kick that landed inside the Nebraska five-yard line for a net of 56 yards. Worst kick Tyler Davis once again had some difficulty keeping the ball in bounds against the Huskers. The senior place kicker twice sent the ball out of bounds on Saturday, giving Nebraska solid field position at its 35-yard line. Best decision coach James Franklin limited Barkley in the second half, allowing one of his running backs of the future to see some extended action. Miles Sanders carried the ball four times for 28 yards while collecting six yards receiving, as Barkley got some well-deserved rest on the sideline. Worst DECISIONA high, knuckling punt proved problematic for the Nanny Lions after their first stop of the game. As returner DeAndre Tompkins waved off the return team, redshirt freshman Zach McPherson didn't get out of the ball's path. The punt bounced up and hit him in the thigh, and the Cornhuskers pounced on it to take over at the Penn State 34-yard line. Most telling moment from Barkley's very first touch of the game, it was evident that the Cornhuskers had no answer for him. 
Nebraska, whose issues stopping the run coming into the game were well publicized, didn't have the same success that previous opponents did keying in on this star running back, as he exploded for one of his best games of the season.